Hey guys, in this video we're going to do stuff just a little bit different. I'm recording from my Logitech Brio so you can see the quality in that. And I'm also going to show you guys how to use the Stream Deck, how I set it up. Um, just a few little quick sets to kind of get you uh, going in the right direction so that you can start experimenting and playing with it the way uh, that you want to use it during your streams right after this. First thing you gotta do, you need to go and download the software for Stream Deck. You go to their web, to Elgato's website, you'll see Stream Deck, click the download, and then bam, it'll take you to this screen right here. Okay, so now that you have your Stream Deck software installed, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your settings, and then from your settings, you're going to want to go to accounts, and you're going to want to hit this little plus button right here and you're going to want to add these accounts and when you do it it'll ask you to log in um, I have multiple accounts here so it's going to ask you to log into them and that way you can incorporate their settings for the stream deck into your software so once you do that go ahead and hit that X and we're going to go to what it looks like this is just a little dummy profile I made so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like so um, so you're going to think of a few things. Now look, in Stream Deck, I can do, like on my main profile, all these icons right here that have a little arrow on the bottom, that means they're a folder. That means I can go into them. So I get into my OBS, and it's got all my settings for OBS. Hit that arrow to go out. Um, same thing with Elgato. I got settings there. Same thing with Spotify. I got settings there. So on and so forth. So... What you're going to do is you need to decide what software over here that you want to incorporate in your Stream Deck setup. So, let's say you want to have a option for OBS. So what you want to do is you want to go to Stream Deck right here. Okay, you want to create a folder. You're going to click and hold and drag. All right. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description that talks about or that gives you uh, where you can go to download some um, cool icons because these default icons are kind of boring not my cup of tea so and then we're going to type in a simple folder name OBS alright so now that we're there double click it and now we're into that folder okay so we've come from the main screen here Okay, to this point right here, and then we're going to double click this, or you can push the button on your Stream Deck, and it's going to take you to your folder. Now, if you wanted to keep going, you can keep adding folders inside of folders. That's not what we want to do here. So, we're going to go over to the sidebar here. We're going to scroll up and go to OBS Studio, okay? So, now we're going to start adding things that we want. We're going to add a scene. Click, hold, and drag you can name that scene now you have a collection in your scenes so my mainstream collection I want this to be my starting countdown scene so whenever I push this my OBS immediately goes to the starting scene which you see right here okay simple as that so that takes me straight to my starting screen so for that one I want to put something like starting screen and look I recommend you hitting enter after words so that they drop down um, you can change the setting on how you want the words to look if you want them in the middle up top how big you want the words you want them underline all that fun stuff you want to change the color if you want to get real fancy get fancy okay have fun with this this is yours this is your baby okay this is your computer your macros all at your hand so that you can make everything a little bit easier so whenever you're doing videos if you end up deciding you want to do a camera behind you like I'm gonna end up doing here soon shooting at you they can see this they can see your designs so let's do a few more scenes in here we're just gonna drag and drag we're just going to drag and drop my main scene 
We're gonna go main. Um, and let's do something easy like my camera scene. Okay, so what this looks like for me, guys, this is what mine will do, okay? It takes me to my main scene, which you see it's basically this right now, okay? And then I also have my camera scene. This is what it looks like whenever I am um, just talking to my chat and my stream. You see everything on the screen, you see all this stuff, um, you see all my social media things, everything is here ready to go and you see that everything's a little bit of action uh, cam as well. So with that, so we have those three scenes and you can put as many scenes as you want guys, have fun with this. I mean, if all your scenes, go ahead and put them all on there. Make sure that you have this thing so that it is as easy as possible for you to get into your streams. Look, I'm doing it right now because it's weird because I don't have my stream deck set up. It's really throwing me off. But I keep having to bring my mouse over to a different monitor so that I can change scenes for you guys like this. So the stream deck is going to be your best friend. Promise. Promise, promise, promise. All right, so now we're one thing I love to have incorporated is mixer audio. So you're going to go over here. You go to mixer audio. Okay, you're going to drag, drop. And now you can change between any of the audio you have in your system. So um, let's go like with my mic. So with my mic right there, all I have to do, since it's lit up, that means that's what I'm looking at. And then all I have to do, so you guys can't hear me anymore. So you see it completely turned my vocals off. You can do the same thing with um, with your actual desktop audio, uh, if you have any other audio going on, um, all you gotta do is just throw it in there and you have a mute and play and you can easily mute your mic. Say you have a cough, you want a cough button, you push a button, it mutes it, unmute it, you're good to go. If your chat gets annoying, you can set it up to where you can mute chat all that fun stuff so and as you can see I'll show you guys what mine looks like in my OBS folder so you go to OBS folder I have my mic I have my game sound because I have sound coming from my Elgato uh, captured device and then I have my desktop the other thing I have is cool is you can go down here to twitch your twitch app once you set up your twitch which set up your YouTube whatever you got you can have it set up to make a clip so it's just one button. When I first started and I would do something awesome on stream, I would yell, clip that. Well, I don't have a lot of viewers and they don't always know, the people that watch me don't always know how to use Twitch. They're still learning just as I'm learning. So with this, I've got the ability to just go clip that, push the button. It makes a clip from the last, I think it's 15 to 30 seconds, and then we're good to go. The other thing I have, you see all my scenes here. Okay, it's my recorded scene. This right here is an actual record button. So if you look on your OBS studio, there's a record button. Just drag and drop it, bam. And then you're good to go. I have a record button, I have a go live button. As soon as it's set to go live, you're good to go. Yeah, all I gotta do is hit go live and it is ready to go for the stream the other thing I have on here if you go down to the very bottom of the screen there's a button that says more actions right there more actions what that does is it goes into and it takes you into this one look I got an update right there it takes you into this right here so that you can see what they have for you more options wise so like there's a clock here you can throw a clock on there um, this is the one that I have Spotify you have to have a premium account but if you put Spotify on there what it does is it allows you to control your Spotify from your stream deck so what you're able to do is like with my Spotify I have a play button I have a mute button right here and a volume up and down whenever I'm streaming whenever I start my stream my music goes straight to um, to one certain song and it's on my Spotify account and so I have to turn that volume up so it's ready to go. And then whenever I'm done with the start streaming screen, I go into actually chatting or gameplay. 
I can either turn it down or I can mute it, whichever I want to do. So then at the very bottom here, I have skip tracks. And then I can set it to shuffle if I want to set it to shuffle. But these skip tracks, I can go back and forth. If I want to hear a song again or someone asks to hear a song again, I can hit this right here. We go back to that song. Bada boom, bada bing. And you are back to the beginning. All right, guys. So in the multi-action, in the multi-action folder, you drag it over. Okay, so it takes you to this blank screen. With mine, when I go live, what it does is I brought over an OBS file that says for it to start the stream. So it's a go live button. Okay. We go OBS selects the scene that I want, which is my starting countdown. I shoot a tweet out, which says, hey guys, grab a Coke, uh, come chat with me. It's got a few hashtags on it for Twitter. Then it opens, this is the create. This is the awesome thing. This is a multi-action, guys. It's gonna do all these things with you just clicking one button. It opens Spotify for me. So I go into it. You can go into your system here, this file right here. Go down to open, drag it over, and you can do this on the regular um, screen as well. And then you can set it to which file you want it to open. So I wanted to execute the Spotify application. I'm gonna put I put a little delay on there of a thousand mil, uh, milliseconds. It mutes my microphone. So that's a mute because it's not lit up. It's another hesitation. Then it turns on my desktop audio, which is what my audio from Spotify is coming from. So it's mute my mic. It has now turned on the uh, desktop audio for Spotify to be heard. And then Spotify, which you guys cannot see because my big head. And then Spotify. And then Spotify executes a playlist that I have set up that is for my stream. And if you look down, let me drag a sucker up here. If you look right here, it does my playlist called stream. Just plays it on the key. And then my stream is started. I can do whatever I'm doing in the background. Everything's going, all I did was push one button. I have streamlined multi actions, different things that I used to do. I used to get on Twitter, make a tweet, um, do all these things, go to my main scene, so, or go to my starting scene so that I can do all that stuff, mute my mic, make sure everything's adjusted, and it's all streamlined in this software. So all you have to do, all you have to do is just push one button. You do it on the back end, and then it's set, and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it ever again. You just push that button, test it a few times, make sure that your delays are good, and then you're good to go. So guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope it gives you some ideas, some things that you want to do to make your stream deck set and customized for you. Because that's the most important thing. My setup's great. It works for me. It's what I need. You guys set yours up for you. And what I want you to do is go ahead and let me know some of the things you're doing on your stream deck. What are some of your favorite macros that you use? Is there something that I don't have on here that I need to look into? Let me know those things in the comments. Let's chat about them. Let's talk about them. Guys, also come check out my streams. I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays about 9 o'clock uh, Central Time. That's p.m. Come hang out. Talk to me. Um, let's chat. Get to know each other. And uh, try to grow uh, together when it comes to our streaming. And if you guys could, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If this helped you out in some way, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me, it helps me in the algorithm so that I'm able to uh, keep growing my channel. 
that way that I'm able to produce more videos for you guys so you guys can see them and so other people can see them and it can help them out guys I want to thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate the likes and the comments we've had in the last couple videos and I hope that we can keep the momentum with everything that you guys are seeing if there's something that you want me to do a video on go ahead and post it in the comments give me ideas guys check out my Instagram uh, my Twitter my Facebook anything that anything social media wise check it out let me know if there's something I can do a video on so we can make sure that we're getting it out there so that everyone can hear it and until next time have a good one